Section 2.6, Statement of Earnings. Our objective for today is to calculate the net pay per pay period. Net pay is what you get to take home once all your taxes have been taken out. So um, today they're going to give us a few more examples of what additional taxes might be taken out, and then you actually have to figure out that net pay. So it's kind of a combination of what we've been doing this whole chapter two. Um, additional deductions that might be taken out are union dues. So like, for instance, those who... Um, work at Bobcat, if they're involved in the union, they might take their union dues out of their paycheck. Maybe they uh, regularly contribute to a community fund. Sometimes your business will do that. Savings plans, maybe every month part of your check goes into your checking, part of it goes into savings. And then sometimes you put some money into a retirement account every single paycheck. Again, net pay is the amount of money you have left after all personal deductions and withholdings have been taken out. Here is your first example. They look really long, but if you take it piece by piece, um, they're usually not so bad. Angela's gross weekly salary is $600. She's married and claims three allowances, so we need to take that into consideration in just a minute. Um, Social Security tax is 6.2% of the first 97500 Medicare, again, is 1.45. State tax is 1.5. Each week she has $28.40 deducted for medical insurance and $5 for charity. Is the earning statement correct? So the first thing we need to do is just double check to see that all of these um, are actually okay. So... Um, so the first thing you would do is you would look in the back of the book at the table um, for married, um, $600, look at three allowances, and that is correct. So I'm going to just put table in back. Um, so that's okay. The... Next one, Social Security is 6.2%. So um, when you're looking at this one, this one doesn't really say how much she has made this year. So if it doesn't, you assume that you need to figure that out. So you're going to take 600 times 6.2%. So if you multiply that out, you do get $37.20. So that one checks out as well. Medicare is 1.45%, so 600 times 1.45%. And again, we're just checking these, so we're just multiplying them out to make sure they are okay. $8.70 is correct. Um, state tax is 1.5%, so 600 times 1.5%. $9 is correct. Local, it didn't say anything about local, so we're just going to skip that one. Medical, it does say $28.40 deducted from each paycheck, so that is okay. It doesn't say anything about union dues, so we're going to skip that one this time. And then charity, $5, so that is okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and add up all of the um, taxes and deductions. So 26 plus 37.20 plus 8.70 plus 9 plus 28.40. And don't forget the ones you don't have to calculate. Um, make sure you add those in as well. So then we're going to add all these together. And we get 114.30. And the next step is to just subtract. So 600 subtract 114.30 is $485.70. And this matches that. 
So if they match, the statement is correct. So we're going to say yes. Question number two. Um, the deductions from Esther's monthly pay are federal income tax 98, state income tax 3.5% of the gross, city income tax, which is different, but it's okay. They still have it. You still have to calculate it. 1.5% of the gross, Social Security and Medicare. Excuse me. The monthly net pay is 4147.21. Find her monthly gross pay. So they want to know the amount this time um, that was that you started with before the taxes were taken out. So the the net pay is what we calculated last time. It's in reverse this time. So this is on the left side. We're going to take and um, look at, oops, sorry about that. Look at the gross pay. I'll say G. And then we're going to subtract all of the taxes out. So we're going to subtract from here. We need to subtract out $98. Um, and we can add all these together. We're going to take out 3.5% uh, of the gross. So that's our G this time. So 3.5% G. We're going to take out our city tax as well. So plus 1.5% of that gross again. Social Security would be 6.2% gross. And then Medicare, 1.45% of the gross. So we have a few things to calculate. We'll do each one of these separate and then we'll go from there. So what we're going to do is change all of these into decimals and add them together. So this would be 0 0.035 G plus 0 0.015 G plus 0 0.062 G plus 0 0.0145 G. So these basically are like terms. We're going to put them all together now. So I'm going to add all of those decimal numbers together. And we get 0.1265. All right, so now we can go and finish this one out. So 4147. 0.21 and then this has a 1 with it since there's no number and then we can't forget about that 98 so what we're going to do first is subtract 98 from both sides I'll do that in a different color so you can see it So 41, 47, 21, subtract 98 is 40, 49, 21. Now we're going to put these together. So we have a 1 minus 0.1265. So we get 0 0.8735. And now we divide. 4049.21 divided by 0 0.8735. So 4,000, okay. I think I typed a number in wrong, hold on. Okay, I saw my mistake. I'm going to go fix it now. Um, I subtracted 98, and notice it already was subtract, so we need to add this to both sides. So my total that I start with is going to be just a little bit different. I'm sorry about that. So 41, 47, 21 plus 98 is 42, 45, and 21 cents. Now we'll divide by 0 0.8735, and now we get 4,860. So 
total gross pay this time, you do have to show your work on this one, is 4860. And if you substitute that back in and take 4860 and subtract all of those taxes out, you would get what you started with. Um, they could also say how much actually was paid for Social Security, Medicare, um, city tax, and state tax. You could calculate those out now since you know the total. For instance, 3.5% uh, of 4860 for the um, what tax was that state income tax would have been one hundred seventy dollars ten cents so you could go back and calculate those very easily um, again this one's a little bit harder question because you've got to do a little bit of algebra in there but it is definitely doable so follow this example for question number three the rest should then go back to the examples like um, we did the first time come with questions tomorrow um, if you have any, please let me know.